Fancy Beauty Symbols coming back in with a video for you guys. I am going to share some new products and of course you know I'm going to have my staple products in this video as well. Um, but I kind of want to chit chat with you guys as well. You know, um, just you know, shoot the breeze with my fancy beauty symbols. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it, and then uh, you know there'll be some music playing um, on those times when I'm not speaking and I'm applying some makeup or what have you. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've already done my eyebrows, as you can see, and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean those up real quick and I use LA Pro concealer I use Fawn for that and sometimes I'll switch up and use um, cool tan Y'all know, one brow, I always want to do what it want to do, no matter what. You know, in in order for 
this country to heal and to be where God wants it to be and needs it to be, we have to kind of go ahead and snatch that band-aid off if you want a complete healing. Sometimes when you have a sore, you keep covering it up, it's not going to heal until you take that band-aid off and let some air hit it and heal it totally and completely. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm feeling that way about the fact that yes, we still you know, have uh, racism in our country. Some may say that we don't, um, but that's because they're naive to their surroundings or to the world or whatever, however you want to, you know, say it. All right, so let me see, let me see. All right, let's do this. I'm going in my 120 color palette by BH Cosmetics, and I am going to start. I'm gonna start with this color here. Because I do know I want to go into the purple family. So, you know, that's what we're going to do. But anyway, I feel like in order for us to get to a place where we can fellowship and we can communicate and we can have relationships, you know, and I'm not speaking of uh, intimate relationships I'm talking about a human relationship we we have to be able to start being able to call races R-A-C-E-S by what it is okay now what I mean by that is we have a hard time saying another race and you know what's funny is it's only between black and white like you can say oh yeah the Hispanic man over there or all oh, that you know the Puerto Rican or the Asian person they sitting right there but when it comes to being able to say um, the African American person or the black person or you know on our side for us to say the Caucasian person that's sitting over there or the white person that's sitting over there we can say it amongst our friends and our family and you know the Caucasians and the white people they can say it with their friends and their family members. But as soon as you get around that particular race, you stumble over your words and you like, um, the white, the white, per the cockade, the African, the, the black, the black person. Of it happens. I see this on a daily basis. And <laughs> it's so funny to me because I don't understand why. Why why is it like that? Um I don't I don't get it. So I'm going to go ahead and work with these colors here. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> um, because we, like I said, we could say those other races real easy. There's, there's no stumble, there's no fumble. It's just straight away. And I 
always come with these subjects with love and with understanding to be taken away from it. I'm not coming to talk about this, you know, to stir up trouble or to, you know, get things going or anything like that. We have to heal, guys. I mean, there's no other way for me to put it. Anybody that knows me know that I do things out of love and I talk about things out of love and I don't have any malice behind it. I don't, it, it's not done to um, make fun of anyone or anything like that. It's done so we can grow as a nation and so we can finally put these things that hurt us to bed and just leave it be and leave it alone so we can move on. I've said it once and I'll, I'll say it again, you know, until that sincere apology comes through about how we're treated, and I'm talking about African Americans, how we were treated, the pain ain't gonna go away. And it's sad to say that, but it's so true. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of hurting. I'm tired of feeling like, feeling out of place when, you know, you go somewhere and you may be the only black person there or one of few that's there. And you have to endure, you know, looks and stares and all this other kind of stuff. I don't, I don't want to live like that anymore, you know? So this video is to find out answers. I'm a, I'm a person that likes to find out answers. So you, you, you can identify the problem, you know what the problem is, so let's not hover over that. Let's not continue to, to um, have this debate about it. It is what it is. There is still racism, point blank, period. It's still there and it needs to stop. It needs to go away because at the end of the day, and I'm not speaking just from white to black, I'm talking about everybody, from black to white, from from black to Asian, and, and every race that you can think of, uh, because it's there too. And that's not the reason why God made different races. He made different races so that we can learn from each other and so that we can love each other in spite of. Because how can you say you love him and treat someone that he created? He created all these races. So how can you say that you love God or love Jehovah or love whoever it is that, where you get your spiritual guidance from. How can you say that you love them and treat other races as trash? Help me understand that. Because I don't care who you serve as, as, as long as at the end of the day, whoever it is that you serve stands for love. And, you know, that's, that's all that's important at the end of the day. Um, so we need to get an answer. We need an answer on how 
this can be accomplished. kind of pretty huh so I want whoever comes through this video whoever sees this video my fancy beauties and bows I want you to put in the comment section what you think it will take for this world to be healed and I'm, I'm so serious about this, guys. I am so serious about this because, I mean, there's babies that's being born every single day, every single second. And it has to be a, a point to where you look in that baby's face and you say, I don't want this baby to endure hate. It's time, to, it's time to beat the devil at his own game. It is. It's time to beat him at his own game because right now, he is just sitting back having a good old time while we doing all this fighting and, and killing and everything else to each other. It's, it's time to time to beat that devil in his head. All right, guys. So that's about all the chit chatting that I got for you t for today. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate on what I'm getting ready to do with this look. So far, so good. And just know that I love each and every one of you guys. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Puerto Rican, Korean, Mexican, whatever race that you are, Nigerian, um, Haitian, Greek, Italian, you know, I don't care what race you are. I love you. I have nothing but love in my heart for, for you all. Because again, God made each and every one of us for a reason. All right, fancy beauties and bows. So we are going to go ahead and complete this look. Now that I have said all that I need to say about this topic, and I know that God is going to work everything out in the end. So as far as the look is concerned, what I'm doing is just deepening up that crease area so I can get ready to cut the crease. And I really love these colors together. And just go in, make sure you go in and blend those colors together. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. So I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm taking Fawn to cut the crease with. And when I cut my crease, I go a little bit above my natural crease line, if that makes sense to you guys. And then just make sure that it is as crisp and clean as I can possibly get it and you can make different shapes with your cre cut crease as well it could be full lid half lid a dramatic at the end cut crease so I love cut creases and they are so easy to do once you get the technique down it is easy as one two three <laughs> Only 
you can do it, Father God. Only you can put your love out here, Father God, and touch the heart as hard and soften it, Father God. Only you can do that, Jesus. Yes! Be healed! Yes! Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father. In the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for using me. Now, these brushes that I am getting ready to show you guys, they were a gift from my co-worker at work. Her name is Jean, and I know you're watching, Jean, so thank you very, very much for these brushes. I absolutely love them. The eyeshadow pigments, the, that is absolutely beautiful as well, and I am going to have such fun using those products, and I thank you again from the bottom of my heart. You guys, I wish you could meet her. She's such a sweetheart. And look at these brushes. They are so, so nice. And they work really well with the products that she gave me. My coworker gave me these brushes. These brushes, and they're from Mary Kay, and I have to show you guys this. She gave me these pigments. Come in boxes like this. So cute. And I have to show you this color. And I think I'm going to use this color today. So it goes on like this. Like a powder. And then watch this. Look at that beautiful color. You see that? That iridescent? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. Let me show you the other one she gave me. This comes like this. And it's just got the little sifter so you can get the color out. So, there you go, and wash it, wash it, oh my gosh, can you see that pretty color, oh my gosh, and y'all already know how I feel about gold, okay, that is so pretty, that is just gorgeous, child, alright, so let me go ahead and choose which one I'm going to use. Like I said, I think I'm going to use this one because it's so, 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 so beautiful. Um,
Watch the magic. Look at this pigment. It is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet, but just look. ahead and merge that other color together with it so it can look seamless I have my lashes put on and the liner done and this is a new product for me this is wet and wild it's a primer because I'm, I'm getting ready to do my face makeup and I wanted to try this out I've had it for a while and I was waiting to get some more products so I could do this type of video for you guys. So it's not bad, you know, on top with that powder that I put down first. It's had time to seep into my skin. And it actually works really, really well. I like that technique. So I will be doing a lot more of that. I think I'm going to do a highlighting and contouring video just specifically on how I do that so if you guys want to see that let me know that way just like this video that way I will know that you guys want me to do that face kind of makeup you know where I do my highlights and contouring so you can see the actual steps that I go through because I do speed through it a bit so now I'm taking this eye pencil and I'm just gonna, you know, work on my lower lash line area, get that all nice and pretty to go with that beautiful color that she got me. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked about that. You guys don't understand. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the same purple from that BH Cosmetic pal palette and just set that purple in place and deepen it up a bit and we will be just about all done guys so i hope you enjoyed this video i think you guys like it when i talk to you and just give you like some verbiage and you know how i feel about certain things if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about Put them down in the comment section, like anytime. Or you can email me, you know, and I'll take those and do those as well. Because I like to talk, if you ain't noticed. <laughs> Alright, Fancy Beauties and Bows. Enjoy the rest of the video. Because I don't really think I have anything. Oh, yes I do. Yes I do. I do have um a new contouring cream that I'm using and it's by Dermablend. So when you see that, you'll know what I'm speaking of. Plus I have that Sienna, my sis from another mother gave this to me. She gave me Sienna, Topaz, and I can't think of the other one. But I love that powder, so I gotta get me one. I wanna get one in banana so I can have that one on deck as well. But this this cream conceit this cream makeup that I'm using for my contour, I love this stuff. This is actually supposed to be to cover up, you know, your blemishes and your stretch marks and all that stuff. But I used it, you know, for my contour because it's so dark and I'm not that dark anymore. I don't know what happened to my melon. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> But, and we got this highlight too, guys. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. But yeah, the Milani, the highlight, oh, it's off the chain. Look, you see it? It's off the chain. I freaking love that stuff too. So, if you want more of these videos, let me know. I'm trying to get the Jacqueline Hill palette, and then I can show you some looks with that too. But... Other than that, guys, I'm out of here because it's almost time for your favorite part. It's almost time for modelization. I'll see ya.